Hello dear curious students, Catalina here. My voice went Darth Vader on me in the past week. Luke, I am your father. So I guess this Google Translate series will have to do. This is the much-awaited intro to the second part of our course. This video aims to explain our activities during the current block period. As we have mentioned on repeated occasions, this course as a whole is designed to better equip you in strengthening the profile you may want to sell in order to pursue a career based on your current studies. You know, had you chosen for another program, such as that at the university college, you would already have had to reflect on what master's program you want to focus on. Because yes, you might have only started your academic career, but time flies. And a reality check is not that bad, especially if it makes you embark on opportunities and positive learning experiences as early as possible. Even if this is not something you are discussing with your friends, we know you're thinking about it. Chances are you currently try to postpone having to make decisions about stuff like that. Hashtag millennials. Well that is exactly what we are trying to help you with. In the first part of the course we explored working with projects, which one way or another will be part of your future. The vast majority of you put their heart and soul and sweat and tears in these projects, and that was simply magnificent. Because we explored themes that dealt with global challenges in order to raise your awareness of being problem solvers at an international scale, the theme of the first block was, the world. This period, we will be zooming into your personalities and your character traits, and for that reason, the theme of the second block in the course will be, well, you. And what better way to do so than employ some activities which really reveal to you the power of emotional intelligence? Speaking of, I was recently speaking to an HR recruiter from an IT company here in the south of the Netherlands, and he was saying that whenever they hire new staff, they look at three things, IQ, EQ and AQ. You know what IQ is, as we said, EQ is the emotional quotient. And as for AQ, that's your adaptability quotient. You see, even coders who are supposed to only sit behind a computer, hashtag love coders, still need to be multi-intelligent to be able to succeed in the contemporary job market. As I was saying before, to open you up to such concepts that really take you outside of your comfort zone and predictable expectations like writing papers or pretending you're pleading in court, which more than 90% of you will never actually do, we turned our attention to more emotionally sophisticated activities such as negotiations and mediation. During the first four weeks of the course, so three more weeks from now, we will do negotiations. In the first week we immerse you in negotiations without giving you any theoretical background to see what you would do with it. You are all engaged using the exercises we've done together. Think back at our tutorials. Did anyone make an impression on you? Who took the lead in the group negotiations? Were they serious, or were they just showing off their courage? Were they convincing? Negotiation exercises are fun. But they are useless if you do not reflect on them. But we'll get back to reflection in a jiffy. In the second week, we will continue doing tutorial exercises, but this time we will use more theoretical knowledge that Cohn will share with you in the first physical lecture, which I'd like to invite all of you to join. During weeks 3 and 4 we will have plenary negotiations, where things will get more serious. Each of these weeks will start with a lecture where the context of the negotiations, the procedure, groups and mandates will be discussed. The Education Office has assured us that each of you has been allocated to a group on the following days. On Wednesday May 3rd we have plenary sessions at 8.30, 16.00 and 18.00 and on Wednesday May 10th we have plenary sessions at 11.00 and 18.00 with the last plenary the day thereafter at 8.30. For each week, you will be required to upload a preparation document. You can use a template that will be published on Portal as of May 1st. More information about the template, as well as the guidelines for filling it in will be provided to you in the lectures on May 1st and May 8th. These two preparation assignments are the first pillar of the assessment for this block period. May 14th marks the deadline for the second assessment pillar, which will be a personal learning report where you will have to reflect upon your activity progress and improvement goals. The last lecture on May 8th will further build on this assessment, and similarly to the preparation assignments, a template will be made available on Portal. To stay informed about everything, just make sure to keep track of the announcements that we'll be sharing on Portal. 
After this wonderful introduction to negotiations that will hopefully give you a bit of a Frank Underwood boost, hashtag minus the killings and unethical stuff, we shall move on to the realm of mediation. The mediation module we are integrating into this course is actually a grant that Brom, our new colleague Gwen and I have been awarded by the Dutch organization called SURF. I know that many of you have been in contact with your more senior colleagues and found out they had a moot court last year as part of this course. And yes, this year we are replacing that part with our mediation module, but that is for a very clear purpose. No university in the Netherlands has, at this moment in time, alternative dispute resolution courses for undergrads that are so specific and that aim to raise awareness about mediation in particular. To make this course, we have been bringing top-notch Dutch and English mediators to Maastricht, and even the former VP of the European Parliament who worked on the mediation directive, and all of this for you. Together, we have been designing tailor-made content that is supposed to make you familiar with mediation simulations. This module will have its own tab on Portal, and it will be made available around mid-May. Oh, and before I forget, during the online simulations, I will be doing some talent scouting that can get you closer to what is for many of you a dream, participating in your first competition. This would be the Paris Mediation Competition, a super huge, world-renowned mediation competition that brings together the creme de la creme of business mediation. One of our students, Ben Thompson, who is a formidable alumnus of this competition, even managed to get his current job because of it. Not to mention that we're currently busy with making badges for this course that you could add to your LinkedIn profile or Facebook. Hashtag hells yeah hashtag you don't have LinkedIn hashtag what are you waiting for? All in all, this is clearly a win-win. You can add in your CV things that only this program can give you, and you have the chance of using this platform to be invited for an interview and be part of a select team in a competition that can kickstart your mood and career. Super exciting. Can't wait for this to start. OMG. This voice has the enthusiasm of Protestant fashion from the 16th century. Yay. Okay, so closing on a funnier note. Why was the robot angry? Because someone kept pushing his buttons. Ha 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 ha. Catalina out.